Hey guys, Preacher Digger here. And I wanted to, as we close out this year, do a 3,000 subscriber New Year's giveaway. And I've had a great year. We have found some great things, went on some great trips, and I'll be sharing my top 10 finds of 2020 uh, at, at the end of this video, so stay tuned. But right now, I'm gonna be doing a huge giveaway for my 3,000 subscribers uh, when I get there. It could be a day or two, it could be a week. I'm projected to hit 3,000 at the end of 2020, at the very beginning of 2021. And what I've done is I called, I saw a video that Jeff uh, Plugmaster Ford did a while back. I'll put his, uh, his uh, video right here. And uh, he's getting into his Patriot Gold and Silver. He's getting into melting silver and gold and beginning to pour bars. And when I saw that, I called him up and said, Jeff, could you melt down some silver and could you make me some silver bars that I could do on my New Year's 3000 subscriber giveaway. And he said, sure. And so he's gonna be melting down some bars and I don't know if I'm, I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. It could be the uh, first place could be a two ounce bar, second place a one ounce bar, and third place is a half ounce bar. Or it might be three drawings of, of three one ounce silver bars that he's poured and stamped for me. And so I appreciate that. If you have any gold or silver needs, look up Jeff at, uh, at Patriot Gold and Silver there in Springfield, Missouri, and he can fix you up. He treats me really good every time I use him. But that's going to be our drawing. And so for you to be eligible for this giveaway, all you have to do is give me a thumbs up on this video. Share with me in the comments your favorite Preacher Digger episode in 2020. And then if you don't mind, you don't have to, but if you don't mind, get the word out by just sharing this on your Facebook wall or Instagram or something like that. That would be really, really good. And, uh, and then you must be a subscriber. Now, I'm going to limit this only to the U.S.-based subscribers because it would cost too much for me to ship it overseas uh, for, for that amount of weight. And so one of these days, I will do a, a giveaway for the, uh, my overseas uh, subscribers. Right now, this will be U.S.-based only. So just hit the like button, give me a thumbs up, and uh, comment what is your favorite Preacher Digger episode, and share it if you don't mind. And then just... Uh, just uh, uh, be a subscriber. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button if you don't mind. And uh, that next time I load up a video, which is usually every Monday at 1.30, uh, you'll get notified on the late, latest Preacher Digger episodes. Got some new things uh, lined up for 2021. Looking to go back to the UK or possibly even uh, Scotland in the fall of 2021 if COVID goes away. But, uh, but until then, I want you to stay tuned because I'm gonna show you now the top 10 finds that Preacher Digger found in 2020. So enjoy the show, and when we come to the, when I reach 3,000, I will post another video on the winners, and we'll do that live where everybody can watch it, okay? So that's all you have to do to be eligible for this 3,000 subscriber New Year's giveaway. So until then, enjoy the show, and God bless you, and we'll see you out in the field. I just crossed this little ditch, came over here, and got a slamming 33 to 40 signal, thinking it's aluminum can. Said, I'm going to dig it anyway. But I popped it out, found it. Oh, my goodness, I think I got a huge silver. Not, not old, but I think it's going to be, look at this, right here. Can you see that? That's definitely going to be silver, size of a half dollar. Let me get my, uh, I don't want to rub that. Let me uh, get back here and I think it's time to break out the holy water. Let's see if I can get some of this off and can, yeah, it's just not, it's just like, this stuff. Let me get my other camera. Let me clean this up and uh, get back with you. It's just, I can't do it with one hand. It's just so thick like Play-Doh. All right, let me get my other camera and we'll show you the close-up. Well, it's not going to be old, but 1918, but man, look at this big old silver. I'll take it. I'll take it. This is called a one florin, 1918. Look at the detail on that coin. Wow, that's beautiful. I've never dug one of these before. That is beautiful. That's going to be King Charles the Fifth, I believe. Yeah, King Charles the Fifth. Man, that is nice. I'll take that big silver for the day. Let's see what this is going to be. Oh yeah, 
I think this is going to be silver today. First, second target is going to be silver. Can't really make out too much uh, definition on it. Maybe when I get back, I can clean it up and kind of see what this is. Looks like some type of bust or something right there, doesn't it? Some writing, I'm not real sure, not real certain. But hey, I'll, I'll take that. A copper coin from the 1600s, and I think this most likely is going to be a silver coin from the 1600s too. All right, I'll take that any day. Let's keep on going. Looks like it's going to be another Indian head, but I got another signal right there and right there. I think it's going to be a little Indian head spill. So yeah, definitely going to be an Indian. Ringing just up just like an Indian. Let's see if we can get a, a date off this. All right, it's gonna be an 1892. Like I said, I've got another signal here I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna live dig this one. You can see it's a solid 1920. About six inches deep. Uh, Right beside this other one, it's another Indian. Right there. Little Indian head spill. That's an 1892. This is going to be a 1890. 1890 Indian head penny. Two of them right there together. Another one there. Another one there. Three more down in the hole down here. yeah it's got a high pitch in it we may have a silver down in there too yeah 1883 i think 1890 1890 1883 and there's still at least two more down in here indian head spill let's keep digging there it is right there all right here's number four yep that's an indian head one cent this is a 1897 1897 i still got another signal here of one Yep, another Indian, number five. A five Indian head spill right here. This is gonna be, a, looks like 1892, 1892. All right, there they are folks, five Indian head spill, all in the 1800s. I started this journey last Saturday. I'm ending on this Saturday. I went to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven or eight lakes, I don't remember them, I'll put them in the video we'll have it uh, counted but it's been a good week I went to one lake right here this lake got two rings then the next lake I went to I got seven rings then the next lake I got three rings the next next lake I got a rubber ring then the next lake I got one ring then the lake I went to today got three rings and uh, this is where I started my journey you didn't get anything here but check that out that's a lot of rings how many were there did you keep count I got my very first one of these. You won't believe it. I've been detecting for seven years. I never dug one. But I finally got, check this out, a crotal bell. Check that out. It's still intact. It's still good. So let me clean this up and we'll get a close up on it. My first crotal. Still got the dinger. It's got some fancy down on the bottom of it. I don't see a number on it, what size it's going to be. Uh... I'm so excited about this. I've never dug one, and I finally got one. So, amen to that. No, no way. No way. There is no, no way. Check this out. That is a Walking Liberty half dollar. 19, oh, can't hold on to it. This is unreal. You dream about days like this. We don't get them all the time. 1934, Walking Liberty Half Dollar. Check that out. Wow. A scream in 30, what was it, a 31, 34, up to 38 signal? Only about, uh, oh, I don't know, four inches deep? Check that out. 1934 walker i haven't dug a walker in a while man got a barber and a walker who what else is out here today 1934 walker i think i'm gonna go live on instagram with that one let's do it aha one dime 
one dime. What do you think it is? Look at that. We got one dime. So I'm gonna give the camera to buy you. Come on, preach. Let's see what you got. All right. One dime. Is it gonna be seated? Oh, it's popping good. Look at that. Oh, beauty. Oh, it's seated. <laughs> What year? Can you see the year? 1848. 1848. Check that out, guys. <laughs> I dug my half dime just right over there. And Benjamin, he got him. What you got? You got a seated dime? I got a seated, yeah, 50. Uh, right over here, yeah. 1850 something. Yeah. And uh, right here in this area together. All right. Let's get some pictures and let's keep on going. All right. Seated. That's three seated that came out of here. Two dimes and a half dime. All uh, in the 1840s and 1850s. And uh, this place dates back to 1820s. So there's no doubt we may find some Indians. And uh, man, we can find a largey too. I hope so. I, that's on my bucket list. So let's keep on going. Let's see what we can find. Look at this. Oh, come on. What is it? Oh, come on. One dime. I see one dime. Is that going to be seated? Is that going to be Barber? Oh, I don't know. Let's play the game here. Let me uh, let me get my other camera. We'll get a close-up on this, and we'll get the holy water out. Time to break out the holy water. All right, let's see what this is. Let's don't turn it over yet. It's a half dime. Half dime. All right. So if it's a half dime, folks, we know it's going to be seated. Let's flip this baby over. Check that out. There she is. I got sat down today. Check that out right there. What year is that? 53. 1853. Seated half dime, folks. How about that, Benjamin? That's fantastic. Thank you for bringing me out here today. You're welcome. Where's mine? Yeah, let's keep searching. Maybe it's out here. Let's do it. All right, 1853 seated half dime. Got seated out here at the plantation home. See it right here, I just popped it out. It's ringing up as a 15 to 16 on the Equinox. And there it is, that is hammered silver, friends. Let me get my other camera. Let's break out the holy water. Let's clean this up. All right, forgive me for the wind, it is so windy out here, but there it is, 1600 hammered silver, right there. There's gonna be the back of it. Can't really see. There should be a king back here or something, but I can't tell. I think that's 1600. Wow, I'll take that. That's beautiful. Got my first hammered here on my second England trip. Put it down where you can see it better. I think I just got hammered. I haven't even touched it. I flipped it out. It was real shallow, about two inches deep. But uh, it definitely looks hammered. Uh, let's go down there and look at it together. Forgive me for this wind. It is really blowing. Check that out right there. See it? That is hammered. Definitely hammered. I can see the cross on the back. All right. Let me, I uh, don't want to touch this too much. Let me lay it right there and I'm going to get my holy water out. And we're going to clean it up. There it is, guys. Get it in the light. have no clue no clue to what it is I'm not gonna clean it up too much I'll let the guy let Chris the guy here the tour guide let him do it that's a beauty right there all right I hope you can hear me that wind is really blowing all right, got my hammer today. I'm happy now. 